Hello, today I want to show you another interesting idea in the Evans Gambit. So after we go e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6, bishop c4, bishop c5, after this move b4, you already know, this is called the Evans Gambit. He takes because he accepts the gambit. We go c3, he goes back on a5, we go d4, pushing our pawn to capture the center. We have an exchange, but here we don't capture the pawn, we castle. And black gets too greedy and takes on c3. You don't play in a debut like this, you don't get too greedy. So we go b3 queen, he develops his queen e7, we go bishop a3, d6. You wanna know how I got these scars? See, people would watch Alex Chess without subscribing. Big mistake. So to help stop this madness, you really should subscribe. Or else... <laughs> we take the pawn on c3 and we also want to go d5. So black changes with us. They develop their second knight f6. And here, if they castle, they have a very good position. And there's a rule in chess. If your opponent's king is in the middle of the board, you always want to open up the middle of the board to win. So we go e5, not allowing him to castle. He takes, we exchange. Because if he takes with the pawn on e5, then we just take the queen. So he takes with the knight, we exchange knights. He takes with the queen, we pin the queen, he defends the pin, we take the knight, he takes another pin, he takes our rook, check, but we eat the queen, king has to move, a5, b6, d5, and here we're threatening to take the rook and threatening for a checkmate.